Hello everyone. So today I want to show you a platform where you can create a powerful application without writing a single line of a code. This platform provides a drag and drop component where you can play around and connect components to build a powerful applications. This can be used by the developer to understand the workflow and create a prototype. Also, it can be used for the non-coders to easily create without writing a single line of the code. There are two platforms I came across, which is Langflow and Flowwise. As Flowwise is built on top of the Langflow and has a similar interface. So I will be showing you about Langchain today. I can make a different video for and Flowwise also in my coming next videos. So stay tuned. So to install the Langflow, first you need to get a terminal. I'm using Ubuntu for now, but you can use command prompt in your Windows. So first you need a Python for that. If you haven't installed a Python, you need to install it first. Then if we look at the repo of the Langflow, here is the installation guide. So we'll follow it. To install Langflow, we just need to do pip install Langflow. I have already installed the Langflow, so it said requirement already satisfied, but it will take some time in your case. Some of you might come to an issue of a build fail in a Windows. That's because of your C++ compiler. To solve that problem, you need to install a Visual Studio with C++. Otherwise, you are good to go. After you have successfully installed the Langflow, just type Langflow and there will be the IP address which is localhost opening at the port 7860. You can follow the link to go to the UI of an Langflow. The Langflow is simple drag and drop interface. So let's see some of the component. We have an agent like CSP agent, JSON agent, SQL agent and some chains like conversation chains, LLM chains and also with journey prompt chain. In the loader section, we can see CSP loader, PDF loader, text loader and web based loader. So if you have seen my previous video, there are all the component that we use to build our PDF and website chatbot. So let's see a quick prototype for a chatbot. To create a simple chatbot like a chat GPT, we require a conversation chain. So let's drag drop here. The conversation chains require a LLM. The LLM is basically large language model. So the language model can be of GPT, OpenAI or Flint 5 as you have seen in my previous video. As of now, the Langflow doesn't support open source model or it does. There are some models like Llama and other that you can install yourself and try it on. So if you see in LLMs, we can see C Transformer, Chat OpenAI and OpenAI only. The Chat OpenAI is basically ChatGPT API and OpenAI is the older GPT-3 model like DaVinci. You can select any one of it if you have an API key for it. So if I drag an OpenAI, we can see a red button here. This indicates if everything is configured correctly. Now to create an conversation chain, we just connect OpenAI with LLM in a conversation chain. Now it's everything is done. You might require an API key for this. So for inference, just click on this button. Now you can type anything here and get a response. The Langflow also provides API interface which you can use in production. To see that, you can select an code button above here. Now there are two APIs, for Python APIs and for Python code. For an API, you just need an API route here and the function that does something like this. If you see here, we just need an JSON file that is loaded here. To get this JSON file, you can just export from here giving any name you like. After you are done with drag and drops, everything, then you can download the JSON file of a Langflow and you are good to go. I didn't have an OpenAI key as I just completed before 
making this video so i will not be able to test but it will work fine in your case so to create a pdf chat like in my previous video we require a text splitter to break our pdf into chunks pdf loader to load our pdf embeddings to create embeddings from the chunks and vector store to store our embeddings the vector store here we got four files chroma qdrand and wav8 here you can use chroma or files as of now as in my previous video we have used files to do everything so we'll use it here now let's drop the component one by one once done you need some copper of more in the previous example we got a conversation change but but it has only the connection of llms and memory but in our case we require something to interface our vector so here instead of the conversation change we require a vector store agent and to get the information about the vector we require a vector store info you can get that from the toolkits down below so i forgot about an llms we can use open ai for now now let's connect the dots first we require an pdf loader as of now i have taken text loader for an example you can you replace the text loader to an py pdf loader to load an pdf the text loader is passed to an document where we split the character of an text the splitted text are stored in our document after doing an embeddings so let's connect it to then files with embeddings the files is a vector store so we require something to get the information about and files in that case we have used vector store info so let's get the information of and files through an vector store info we have an llms now vector store agent the vector store agent requires the vector store info and llms for llms we have used openai so we'll connect this with openai llms and vector store info in vector store info that's all so you have built yourself a pdf chatbot which you can talk to in the similar example if you want to talk to an website you just need to replace text loader with web based loader and for an pdf you require py pdf loader there are other loaders such as csp loader facebook chat loader and notion dit loaders also gitbook loaders so you can now play around with this to create your one prototype after you done everything you can just export it in a json format and use that file for your production or inference so that's all for this video Thank you and if you like my video please like share and subscribe and have a good day